Good morning, December 7th week, Archaeologic Employees and Leadership. My message this week, it comes from a magazine that came out on EHS, which is Environmental Health and Safety Magazine, on December 4th, which would be our last, what, Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me, it talks about an article that came from the director of OSHA, Richard Fairfax. Okay, and one of the biggest points he brings up is that the top 10 violations, again in 2020, are the same repeated accident or uh, violations as a year ago. So he's making it pretty clear to me that these are target, not that coronavirus and the COVID-19 are still not a focus, because they are. But here are these top 10 uh, outside of the COVID uh, virus. Number one, scaffolding. So if it applies, again, the, the three biggest things, and I've got some of these after each item highlighted in red, the things we should be aware of. But they always will include, do we have a policy? Uh, training has been completed. And do we have the employee sign off? Number two is hazard communication. Part of hazard communication is uh, the training, the sign off, the actual uh, employees know where to get the SDSs and do they have access to them at any time. Three is fall protection. And that's a big one to us. Uh, that includes the actual fit testing on how to put the equipment on. It also includes is there a rescue plan in place. Uh, so that's fall protection. Respiratory, that's when it goes above the, the nuisance mask, and I don't think we have any of that. Uh, number five is lockout tagout. Who's authorized? Who's affected? Uh, do we have procedures? Do we follow those procedures? Uh, is there an, uh, an annual audit that's being completed? Uh, one lock per one key. Group is each one have one lock per one key that type of thing. Six is electrical wiring. Just in general, are we, we having authorized people only working on the electricals? Seven is powered industrial vehicles. Uh, that is the training being done. Do we have a policy? Are the employees signing off? Are pre-shift inspections being done? And is the training being done at minimum every three years, including the hands-on observations? Number eight, is machine guarding. Okay, that's general machine guarding, whether it's on saws, you name it, machinery. Uh, have the, do we have a policy? Uh, were the employees trained and did they sign? Uh, ladders, we've uh, talked about this numerous times, but in addition to policy, the procedure in place, employees signing off, do we do the pre-use inspection of a ladder? And do we secure them? Uh, the last one on the list is general electrical. Are, do they have the three-prong plugs? Are cords uh, deformed in any way, shape, or form? Uh, are they color-coded? That type of thing. The last one, at this particular conference on September 23rd, the OSHA director said he encouraged all the attendees to return to their facilities and make sure that they are focusing on these top 10. That's my message for the week. If you got any questions or a topic for next week, please give me a call. And please make good choices, be safe, and stay healthy. Take care.